G'day Western Australia, I'm Coram E from Fly On E, electric aviation, standing in front of the Alpha Electro, Fly On E's first all electric trainer aircraft. This aircraft is housed primarily in Jandicott, Western Australia, with the flight training school, Cloud Dancer Pilot Training. They're an RAOS training school, teaching people to fly all electric in the electric Alpha trainer. So this is the first in our fleet of Fly On E electric aircraft. We'll be bringing more of these into the country to operate in flight school everywhere. The Alpha Trainer presents an amazing opportunity for flight schools. It is cheaper to operate than a conventional petrol combustion aircraft, such as the ones behind me, to the tune of about $20 an hour, sometimes more depending on the aircraft. So as a trainer aircraft doing a lot of hours in the sky and doing short, high rotation, circuits and training flights, it's a no-brainer to use this in your RAOS flight school because it's simply cheaper to operate, mostly due to the low levels of maintenance. The motor, for instance, in this aircraft, its first maintenance is at 2,000 hours. Remember the last time you did your 100 or 200 hourly and how much it hurt? You do not have to do that in this aircraft. The 100 or 200 hourly consists of a software update and an airframe inspection. It's amazingly cheaper to maintain and operate. So it's a no-brainer for flight tools. For all of you out there interested in training and learning to fly an electric aircraft, let's look at the difference in uh, a, a shiny new electric aircraft and what sort of features are happening inside the cockpit. So, of course, the aircraft's quite new. This particular one's only done 32 hours. So it hasn't uh, done a lot of miles and everything is spick and span. Let's have a little look at the cockpit area here, a little bit high exposure on the lens, don't know if we can manage that with this basic camera. Uh, but what we've got here is a lot of amazing information, your power management system, your artificial horizon which has a bit of uh, extra info there, digital compass, G meter, back to the artificial horizon, all your regular gauges, altimeter, indicated airspeed, those sorts of things. Now control systems are pretty straightforward. You've got your rudder control at the bottom, uh, ailerons here. Well, in this case, flapperons for the Pipistrel Alpha Electro, which gives it some uh, unique air characteristics. Then we've got our power control here, brake and flaps. So all pretty standard in terms of the operation of the aircraft and what controls all of your um, control surfaces for the aircraft. So it's not particularly different to flying a conventional aircraft. It's just if you don't put fuel in it, you simply charge it up. Now, once charged, you're good for about an hour of flight time with a payload capacity of just over 178 kilograms. So that'll take two regular people into the aircraft, no problem at all, and give you a pretty good usage for recreational flying or training flying. So this particular aircraft, whilst it is busy in the flight school, training people to fly electric, it's also available for recreational hire. So what we're offering to everybody at Fly On E, existing pilots in particular, come and do your electric aviation endorsement. You'll spend five hours in this aircraft doing the endorsement, and then you're able to hire this aircraft for pay per use, recreational hire, after you endorse by our, our flight instructors. And then you can hire this at any time to fly for only $170 an hour. Oh, we might have to pause this video because the boys across the road have just started up their epic warplane and I don't know if we'll be able to yell over it. I'll be back in a moment. All right, they've turned it off for a minute, so we've got peace again. We'll see how we go. Uh, so we're inviting all pilots, all existing pilots. If you're uh, GA certified, uh, if you've got RPL, CPL, PPL, whatever, uh, come and do an endorsement in the Alpha Electro RAL's registered aircraft, and then you can hire this recreational aircraft for $170 per hour. That's considerably cheaper, up to half the price of hiring a similar two-seater non-electric aircraft for recreational per hour use. Now, what we're building in Western Australia is an electric charge node network. So you've got more places to fly this amazing aircraft. And when you land, you simply charge and have a break before coming back. It's a one-to-one -one charge ratio. So if you fly for an hour, you'll only need to charge for an hour. It's a really, really quick turnaround and in terms of charging. So you can land, chill out, have a coffee, talk about your flight, and by the time you're done faffing around for a little while, you'll be ready to take off again. So we've got an expanding charge node network in Western Australia, currently Jandicott and Murray Field with more sites coming very, very soon. 
check out the website, www.flyone.com.au, links below, and you'll be able to see our expanding range of electric charge node infrastructure, which lets you fly more places in the electric aircraft uh, recreationally. So please have a look at the website, check it out, get involved. We want to encourage more pilots to switch to electric. It is definitely the future. Now's a good time to get started and get involved. We want to share this amazing aircraft with more people and we want to train more pilots. So if you've ever thought about learning to fly now is the perfect time. By operating the electric aircraft in the flight school, we've brought the cost of becoming a pilot in command, solo capable pilot in a light sport aircraft like this, under $10,000 to do your minimum amount of hours required to become a, a solo pilot in command. And then after you've done a few more hours as solo in command, you can even take passengers. Absolutely amazing. The barrier has been to entry has been lowered more than any before, thanks to electric aircraft. And you can learn to fly one in Jandicott, Western Australia. Here it is, it's a thing of beauty, the people of Strill Alpha Electro. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna see you hit that subscribe button below so we can see you again, and I can give you more updates on electric aviation in Western Australia and beyond as we develop this amazing charge node network and share electric aviation opportunities with more new and existing aviators. The future is electric.